Good morning everyone and welcome to another of our St Andrews YouTube services. My name's Johnny, I'm the Assistant Minister at St Andrews. It's a great pleasure to welcome you to our online service this morning. I thought we would kick things off today with a little quiz. I'm going to give you some famous quotes and I want you to guess who said it. Got it? Great. First up, being there for a child is the most noble thing a toy can do. Who said that? Being there for a child is the most noble thing a toy can do. It was Woody from Toy Story. Toy Story 4, I think. As you all shout at your screen. Second quote. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. Who said that? It was Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill during the Second World War. Third one. That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Who said that? Neil Armstrong, first man on the moon. Very well done if you got three from three. It's quite good doing a quiz this way, actually. I've got nobody heckling me uh, that I might have the answers wrong. Fourth quote, and more, much more than this, I did it my way. Now, some of you thought I was going to start singing there, but don't worry, I won't uh, make you suffer that. I'll read it again. And more, much more than this, I did it my way. Frank Sinatra, Frank Sinatra. Well done if you've got him. Okay, a couple more to go. Barnsley avoiding relegation from the championship. That would almost qualify as a miracle. Barnsley avoiding relegation from the championship. That would almost qualify as a miracle. Who said that? Well, I bet a number of people said it, but the person that I know said it was the Reverend Pete Jackson, who said it in last week's sermon. And... The almost miracle happened on Wednesday night. Incredibly, against all the odds, Barnsley stayed up and stayed in the championship, subject to Wigan's appeal. But well done to Barnsley. I know there'll be a lot of people happy about that uh, in our church family. Last one in the quiz. Last one. The time has come. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Who said that? The time has come, the kingdom of God is near, repent and believe the good news. Well, that one was Jesus. Well done if you got six out of six. Those words from Jesus are probably some of his most famous. In fact, they are the first that Mark gives us from Jesus in his gospel. And as we'll see this morning, these words that Jesus says are even more significant than the moon landings or great wartime speeches. Those 16 words that Jesus says are life-changing and have eternal consequences. So lots to look forward to this morning as we meet together, albeit still in this rather strange way. But as we begin, let me lead us in an opening prayer. Father, we thank you that you are a God who speaks, a God who can be known. We pray that we would know you better, having looked at your word, the Bible, this morning. We ask for your help as we sing praises to you, pray to you, and encourage one another through phone calls and messages later on and during the week. Bless us, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, our first song this morning is all about building our lives on the rock-solid foundation of Jesus' trustworthy words for life. Let's sing together, the wise man built his house upon the rock. 